It was a struggle for commuters this winter when the MBTA virtually shut down, and for a lot of people, it became almost impossible. But five investigators, Kathy Curran, found that many of the T's top managers were enjoying sweet rides thanks to a generous perk free take home cars that you are paying for. Ron Nickel cruises up the expressway behind the wheel of a $34,000 Chevy Traverse, courtesy of his employer, the MBTA. When Nickel, the chief safety officer for the T, isn't driving, he's riding the rails and parking wherever he wants, all for free. Five Investigates exposes the tale of two very different commutes, yours and the sweet rides of the top management at the cash strap T, costing taxpayers and riders more than a million dollars. It's a pretty good deal, all right. Five Investigates discovered there are 46 MBTA managers enjoying this free perk. They also get free gas, insurance, maintenance, and repairs, not to mention all of the free passes to ride the T. The keys to this $27,000 Ford Escape belong to the GM's chief of staff, Tammy Powell, and more take-home cars for the deputy chief of staff, chief administrative officer, and chief mechanical officer. And here's the priciest car of all, a $52,000 Chevy Tahoe Hybrid assigned to Deputy General Manager Sean McCarthy, whose salary recently climbed to $195,000 a year. On top of all of that, T employees have access to a whole fleet of pool cars once they get to work. Chiefs of staff, de deputy chief of staff, do they need cars? Why, why you need a uh, car to get to work, a free car, if you're, if you're doing the job of a chief of staff is a mystery to me. David Turk is an economics professor at Suffolk University. The message is that uh, the uh, management is shameless in its willingness to uh, squeeze out perks for itself, even as it's neglecting the, uh, the passengers. There are passengers like Joanne Golden who were left stranded when the tea broke down this winter. Those kind of perks don't belong in public service. I'm, I'm a public servant myself. and. Uh, I think it's inappropriate. There are many things that have to be reviewed in the way the, the T has done its operations in the past. Interim general manager of the T, Frank DePaula, is reevaluating take home cars as a result of our investigation. If there are some people who uh, don't need to have take home privileges anymore, we'll certainly review those it's because, you know, without oversight in checks and balances, sometimes things get a little out of control. And when we began asking questions, the T took one take home car away, and there may be more to come. Ron Nickel is the only person whose car is part of a compensation package. He says he uses that car to respond to emergencies. Kathy Curran, Five Investigate.